Hello everyone. Thank you for watching my video. This is Chris from the Mohawk and St. Lawrence. I'm um, just going to give you a quick tour of the layout and some layout updates. Um, this is my made up Lawrence yard. Um, as we go through, it's five tracks. It's basically my staging yard. Um, everything kind of comes comes and goes from this yard um, as we go up come up going north here um, on here I had put this um, engine facility in here um, but I don't think it, it really fits so I think I'm gonna take this out and put a passing track through here so I can do some more switching in the yard and put a team track through this area into here um, I'm going to be moving that highway bridge. It's going to come down where that about where that small building is right there. Um, but I think that would look a little bit better. It'd give me a couple more sp spots to basically spot some freight cars. Um, as we come through here, this is the city of Mohawk. Um, I've got this did this work over the weekend and. Been kind of working on it for about a month now with the buildings and everything, trying to get them detailed and this and that. But um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, you know, I got a little bit of work left to do on here to detail it up and everything. But as we continue north, we come up and we see the my two switchers. Basically, this is local traffic right here. This is um, the main, main workhorse of this part of the line. Um... The calf there is an Atherin engine. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to end up putting a, a sound unit into it, sound decoder, with a, um, a light for the headlight. But I think it'll look, add, add a special touch to it if I do that with it. Um, in the background here is, I've got the American Hardware building a Walther's kit and then um, a couple city classic building parts there um, these are a couple Walther kits right here in the city um, as we come down through here this was another Walther's kit kit this was the Roberts printing building um, I mo kind of modified it a little bit here I'll show you I put the an extra door in here um, with a dock and then a roof over that this is basically part of the, my paper mill um, this is going to be the recycling plant basically for the paper mill um, and then I just have to build a bridge or something to show how they bring the product over to back to the main building um, this is the loading docks for the paper mill um, as you can see and then I've got some tracks here, a passing track here, where they store some cars for the paper mill. Um, up front here is, um, this is my Pillsbury factory here. I've still got some work to do on this as well, as well as the scenery in front of that building. Um, it basically can hold four cars in here. There's enough room for two, uh, 50 foot box cars and two hoppers and this is where the hoppers unload and then the box cars up unload up towards the front um, continuing on here we see the the plant here and I can back up a little bit here and show kind of show you the the whole plant um, it's a pretty massive building I use a couple different a uh, couple paper mill kits to build it um, as we go through here, we've got the chemical loading, unloading, I mean, right there. With I'm working on putting a kiln in, um, which is basically going to kind of take up most of this area right through here. Um, still working on some of the, the other building and the kiln itself. Um, here's the pulp containers. This here where the 
where the tractor is here. This is going to become um, pulp wood unloading track. Um, I'll be able to put some cars in there to be able to get them unloaded and then there would be actually a the pulp wood would be all piled in over here and they would get brought to the to basically the chipper where it gets pulverizes all the wood into little tiny chips. And this is uh, an area that I've worked up, been working on for a little while now. Um, I just got to put some water in here and get some more, some little bit, a few more details for it. Uh, this is basically a Uncle John's cabin here. Where he goes to get away from, from everything. And in the background there is, is Peterson Tools. I use a couple different welders kits here to to build this industry as well. Um, I could put 250 foot box cars in here for shipping and receiving. Um, and then I can put a, I believe I can put two tank tank cars in here so they could be able to um, deliver the lube and oil that they need for the building the tools. Um, as we go down through here, there's an old abandoned little log cabin and there's Uncle John on his tractor coming up the road. Um, over in here, this was going to become a, I was going to use this as a furniture company, but I'm not really sure if it, if it fits here. Um, I am, was thinking about maybe putting a small lumber mill in here instead. Um, maybe some of you guys can give me um, some ideas. You know, leave some, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And then this, just the north end, basically north end staging right here. Um, it swings up back and forth, so it, I don't have it won't be in the way of blocking the aisle or anything. Um, this is where the trains from Can Canada returning, turning south, um, come in part in play. Um, and that's about it. That's the end of the tour. Um, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, you know, thoughts, ideas, what you thought of the video. Thank you.